do you suffer with tight fingers, tight hands, can't seem to hold a grip on, on anything? Does it feel like that your thumb hurts, especially right down into here? Well, today we're going to talk about how to massage and soften the hands and actually stretch the hands so that you can regain back some of the use of your hands. Stay with me. Oh, and by the way, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell so you see the next video that comes along, and always leave comments. See you soon. Hello everyone, welcome to the Muscle Repair Shop. My name is Butch Phelps, I'm a functional massage therapist and today we're going to talk about the hand which works in conjunction with my last video which was on the forearm massage. As you learned in that video, the muscles in the forearm control the hand a lot, but there are muscles in the hand that can also become a problem too. And But what I want to show you today is why this is important and what can you do to soften this and make this better. Too many times people assume, especially if they're getting older, that the lack of use or the weak grip is because they're getting older. And many times it has much more to do with your lifestyle and understanding how the hand works versus your age. So stick with me here. Let's get started with this and let's talk about the hand itself. Now, when you look at your hand, you've got a major muscle here that wraps around the thumb and around the um, index finger here called the thenar eminence. But it allows the thumb to pull in and if you're trying to grip something, the thumb is what really helps you grip any object in your hand. Well, when the muscle here gets really tight, it starts to draw the thumb up closer like this here, and now all of a sudden to grip something becomes very difficult because you can't spread the hand out to be able to do that. The other four fingers have to be able to do the same thing. So there's muscles down in between here as well that allows those fingers to separate. Well, obviously if my hand is in this position, trying to grip something would be very difficult versus my hand in this position and I'm trying to grip an object. And so what happens is that if we don't understand how this hand works, over time these muscles will get hard and stiff and as they do that, the fingers get closer together, the thumb gets closer together, and then all of a sudden our hands are almost not usable, which is a terrible place to be. So today we will, I want to talk about how to get these hands to open back up and make this happen. What will surprise you is that a lot of times, especially for people who are older, they get pain in this joint down here in the thumb. And many times it's just laughed off or just spoken of as it's just purely arthritis because you're older. Sometimes that is true, sometimes it's not true. I've seen it both ways. And so what we want to do is really focus on the thumb because if we can get this thumb to separate back out, now your ability to hold on to things will become much greater and it'll be less pain down here as well. So there's a couple things you can do. I'm going to get closer to the camera so you can just see my hand. So as you come into your, to the hand, you see, what I, what I want you to do is this is my right hand. So I'm taking my left hand and you can see how I'm, I'm attacking it here. And what we're doing is we're just gently pressing while I'm breathing out to get this muscle to start to soften here. Now, if you press too hard and it's too painful, the hand will just contract, and that's not what we want. We want this to be totally relaxed. If it's really tender here, start out with a heating pad or a warm towel around your hand, and then come in and start to do this. But you're not gonna squeeze, you're not gonna squeeze this out. So don't think that you get to press really hard which would hurt this hand, you want to just put just enough pressure there to feel the slight about amount of discomfort, breathe out and allow the muscle to relax and work all the way up, even up into the V here. You can work all through this. And you may have to do this for the first two or three days before you even start to stretch, depending on how tight this is. And you just work all the way through. Now, many times if I'm at home, I'll grab my hand this way, which looks a little bit like that, and I'll just grab my hand and do this as I'm having a conversation with somebody. They don't even know what I'm doing while I'm doing this, and maybe you don't either if you're looking at my hand at this point. But the idea is that we wanna soften the muscle here 
so that we can get this thumb here to start to move. Now, when we get over into this part, we can take our other hand and just gently come right up. You wanna press just enough you can start to feel it right in between the bones here, you see, and you're gonna work this way. You can also come in and work underneath the same way because you want these muscles to be nice and soft. And as you do that, now the fingers can start to spread, you see. The thumb can start to spread and the hand can start to spread without any limitations. And now when you grab, say, a coffee cup or a glass or any object you're trying to pick up, you can just grab it and walk away with it. So when it comes into to the stretching side of this, there's a couple stretches you can do. One, you want to pull the thumb out where you're stretching the webbing in here. And so what you want is, see how I place my thumb here? Right at the base of that, of my right thumb, my left thumb is at the base of my right thumb. And I take the other four fingers around my thumb. And remember, I'm stretching the webbing here. I want to stretch this this way. Breathe. Come right out just like that. Open that right back up. Again, you're going to hold for the five seconds as you breathe out. And you're not pulling hard here. You're not trying to pull the thumb off. You want to just feel the muscles here relaxing and letting go. You can also take your fingers here and just spread. And if you can't do that, you can take your fingers and spread just like that. And just start moving those knuckles around just like that. You can catch your fingers, come up this way, and you just start stretching those right out, you see. And you can even take the fingers and start coming downward, just like that, and start to move those knuckles around because why that is important is it puts the synovia fluid back into the knuckles, allowing the freedom of that hand, again, to be able to move so that you can grip things. Now, you can also stretch the thumb, see how my hand is straight. So this is my right hand. I take my left hand, see how my thumb is here. I catch here and all I do is just push it right across my hand. And then that starts to stretch out the thenar eminus over into this part, right into here, you see. And that starts to take some pressure off this joint down here. But all I'm doing is hold for that five seconds as I breathe out, release. Now, don't get impatient because what I see most people do is they want to grab this and they're trying to get it to go full range first time they do it. And then all of a sudden it's a lot of pain and the pain becomes too much and then they just stop. And the idea is I don't want you to stop. I want you to do this every day several times a day while you're sitting and resting so that you can gain control back. So be patient with this as you take your thumb and then just gently pull that right across here to open that back up. As you start to move, open this back up, again, the thumb starts to open up, and as it does, now when you wanna pick up a coffee cup or a glass, you can do it with confidence. Even if you're younger, if you're on computers, if you're texting all the time on your phone, these muscles in here will get tight, and as it does, it will affect your, your ability to grip things. So always make sure that you work these on a daily basis. So if you're a gamer, you're typing all the time on a computer, you're texting your friends all the time, even if you're 15, 16, 17 years old, using these exercises with the thumb is going to save your thumb down the line when you get older, and hopefully you'll thank me for 20 years from now. If you enjoyed what you saw here today and you think it will help some of your friends, please be sure to subscribe down below, ring the bell so that you see all of the videos that come out once a week, and always leave comments and questions. I'm always happy to, to answer those. And for now, see ya. Ugh.